Welcome to this lab on working with semi-structured movie data. My name is Keith Laker. I am your host for this particular lab. And in this lab, we're going to show you the power of JSON or semi-structured data within Autonomous Data Warehouse. The good news is everything that you need to work with JSON data is already part of your autonomous data warehouse. So it's nothing to deploy, we're ready to go. The first step we're going to show you is writing some very simple SQL notation for working with JSON data. Slightly different to the SQL that we used in the previous lab in its format, but what you'll see is the sort of the structures that we had in the previous SQL lab if you haven't already done it, I recommend maybe after you finish this, go back to the previous lab and work through the SQL features. But you don't need to know a lot about SQL to do this lab, so it's fine to just dive in at this point. But JSON has some very, very sophisticated structures built into it. And we're going to show you how you can work with those sophisticated structures. We'll come to that in a minute. The key thing, the key takeaway here is, again, SQL is very simple to use, but it's also very rich and it's a very sophisticated language. And you're going to do some really quite deep analysis here um, as part of this lab. It's going to be very cool and very exciting. But let's just have a quick look at what a typical sort of semi-structured JSON data looks like. As you can see here, there's sort of different parts to this. So we have um, an, one particular element here. This is the data for a particular movie. Uh, that movie is called Gatorbait 2. And you can see there's different pieces of information here. So it was made in year 1998. Uh, you have a cast and there's four key people and this element of cast is kind of where JSON diverges from other types of data that you might be used to in that you'll notice I've got cast and I've got four people here and this is in JSON terms what we call an array. So that's the first part. If you look below that, we look at the crew, we've now got another array, which is a little bit more sophisticated again, because I've got the concept of crew and there are different types of crew. So I've got producers and I've got two producers. Uh, I've got a director as a job and there are two directors. And of course there's a writer. And in this case, we've got one writer. So, there's a, there's a lot of elements in here and what we need to be able to do and SQL in Autonomous Data Warehouse allows us to do this is to work with all of these different elements, whether it's just extracting the year 1998 or being able to work individually with each of those cast members by pulling out their name, whether it's Jocelyn Baudreau or Jan McKenzie and so on. And you're going to get into these arrays and, and work very quickly and easily with them. The starting point is going to be just to get you to understand the transformation that goes on inside Autonomous Data Warehouse. We're going to use something called simple dot notation. So it's going to look fairly similar when we write a query or when you write a query to the SQL that you used in the previous lab. It's just tweaked a little. And what that notation does is allow us to generate results that transform that semi-structured data into something more like what we're used to. In other words, a table containing columns and rows. Having got that concept, we can then move on to do some more deeper analysis. And we're going to focus on trying to understand 
what happens around the Academy Awards. So we know it's a great time for the movie industry. There's always sort of lots of news uh, and exciting things going on. But what does that do to our sales? Now, it'd be interesting to understand, you know, does a movie get more views after it's won an Academy Award compared to before? So we'd like to be able to write a query that shows us that information. How many views did it have before the award versus how many views did it have after the award? And what was that, that pickup? What was the percentage increase? This could be quite a challenging question. And don't forget, we're working with semi-structured data as well. So we're gonna work on a query to find the sales for movies that have won the Best Picture Award and do some deeper analysis on it. And that's kind of the key part of this particular lab. So what you should see is that, you know, we're working with a different type of data, but most importantly, our queries are running really, really fast inside Autonomous Data Warehouse. Again, we've got lots of optimizations for query management that are running behind the scenes for you. But the good news is the types and the structure and format of those queries, really simple to understand. And as in the previous SQL lab, there's all of these super smart functions that you can apply to that data set and get back answers to quite complex business problems. Hopefully this all whets your appetite and you're thinking, oh, I'm sure there's a lot more I could do with JSON data, and there is. Um, we have this huge library, it's completely free, um, where you can go to get more information about how can I work more deeply? What else can I do with JSON data? And we've got lots of experts who contribute information to this, like Jeff Smith, as you can see uh, on the screen there, who will help you get even more insights into working with JSON data. So as I say, it's completely free. Enjoy it. It's a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough. Have fun with this new lab, working with semi-structured movie data. My name's Keith Laker. Thank you very much and have a great time.